opening has been outstanding in this game at 58 percent. Navarro the pass to Gasol. Good for his eighth field goal. He's attempted a dozen shots. I love the killer instinct he shows right there. Exploding to the rim to add to the lead. Mazeka. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Greg, those are always tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. Pass to Machulis. Down low. And it's Valanchunas finishing it off. And he just leaves the D in the dust and explodes to the basket. You're right. Uh, uh, Clark, maybe a momentum changer right there, huh? It could be, Kevin. I mean, a dunk like that can sometimes get an opponent reeling. Rubio left side. Shakes him. And Gasol lays it in. Gasol's got four points this quarter. And the interior D is really starting to be exposed here. How many layups have they gotten today? Passes it to Kuzminskis. Gasol against Valanciunas. Here's Kolnetis. Misses the three. You've got to give them a lot of credit for the job they've done on the backboard. They've done a lot of things well today, but really it's about what they've done on the backboard that's at the top of that list. Rubio misses. That's really too easy a chance to miss, guys. He needs to be more aggressive and focused on his finishes. Got a piece of it. Here's Santa Materio, and the tough to finish it off. Ah, beauty. And I like how he puts himself in position there to finish on the break. Yeah, you know, that's what we call seeing and feeling the game. Excellent read of how that play was going to develop and where the ball was going. That's stuff that you oftentimes can't teach, Greg. Gone three or four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Gasol a screen. Navarro, the pass to Reyes. Here's Navarro. No good from outside. You know, even though he missed that one, great shooters have a way of feeling when they've got enough room to pull the trigger. And no doubt about it. The defense, you can see it knock that one down. You know what? He's just stone cold right now. Really not sure if he's their best option offensively as they try to get back in this game. And there's the pass to Reyes. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. Some defensive breakdowns are... Starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. Yeah, high percentage shots are what they are getting in terms of the attempts, and that's just not going to get it done. They have got to figure it out. Huey's checked in for Ricky Rubio. Gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. There's the pick. Five on the clock. Shot from the wing. Gasol with the rebound. Gasol's got rebound number seven for him tonight. Here's Huey. Over to the left wing. Pass to Santa Materio. Right side, Gasol. Passes it to Santa Materio. Offline with his three. Gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Screen by Valanchunas. To the middle. Over to the wing. Screen by Valanchunas. Here's Kolnetis. No good. And since halftime, he has just been ice. Cole just can't seem to get anything to go his way. 
The pass to Santa Materio. There's Navarro. His three pointers off the mark, being 40% from the field. And the ball travels out of bounds. Turnover. We've seen a lot of silly plays like that out of them today. Just way too many. fourth quarter shooting at either 50% from the field. Rodriguez lays it in without an inch of room around him. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Pretty clear it's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. You know that's a case there Kevin of him making a pass to a spot and then he let his teammate run right into it. Well executed. Here's Vasquez uses both hands to slam it down. Fellas, that two-hand monster slam was vicious. I don't think there was anyone, and I mean anyone, that could have stopped him on that one. I tell you what, I'm glad they didn't try because somebody might have got their feelings hurt. Nasty on Kunis. Good work defensively by Gasol. Gotten into a pretty good groove going 6 of 10 here in the final quarter. Passes it to Yui. Feeds to Gasol, and that one's good. Oh, I tell you what, nice little run here they're going on. And, and getting to the 10 has been the key. They're getting point-blank looks time and time again. Inside, here's Jan Kunis, connects on the 17-footer. And, and really smart to draw his man out to the... perimeter he's giving up too much size to be effective inside show nice basketball IQ I agree Greg I mean if he finds his spot on the perimeter and doesn't force it I think his outside shot will be hard to block no matter who's defending that missed basket now makes him four of eight from the field gotten off to an 0 for two start from downtown here in the fourth quarter screened by Valanciunas to the inside. It falls through, making him 6 for 11 in the game. Good ball movement. He put that pass in the ideal spot, right where it needed to be. Got more than 58% of their attempts to go down for them in the fourth quarter. They're 7 of 12. Rodriguez outside. Good looking screen by Gasol. Four on the clock. Here's Santa Materio. Good, and the assist goes to Gasol. He might not have the long-range ability of some other guys, but he will knock down open ones like that. Down low, here's Jan Kunis. That's all good. Good, and that's his fifth basket of the game. He's shooting five for 11 now. And really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. Yeah, maybe a change of the game plan right now, looking at some different sets because of the matchups. Yeah, I agree with you because they're looking to tweak things to maybe get those matchups working in their favor. Gone 8 of 13 from the field since the start of the fourth, sinking the majority of their shots. Rodriguez passes to Reyes. It's stolen. Just five to shoot. And there's the pass to Jan Kunis. That three off the mark. Gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here on the fourth. The feed to Claver. Huey, the pass to Reyes. 
Here's Huey. Puts it up from 12. And that one comes up a bit short. He's not necessarily a strong inside presence, but he needs to polish those chances off. Kicks it to Valanciunas. Pass to Kuzminskis. Here's Jan Kunis. The jump hook. The second effort. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. Gentlemen. Boy, a perfect half at the free throw line for him. That'll help their comeback effort for real. And Clark, those free throws need to continue if they're going to get back in this game. At the line. Polis Yakovis. Two shots. First one falls for him. Oh my God, I just got that. That one falls, so he hits both of them. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here. Aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. Here's the screen. Rodriguez passes to Reyes. Here's Clover. That misses, so no good on his first attempt of the night. Gone 6 of 13. So just above 46% on their field goal attempts here in the quarter. And guys, something new for the NBA is the HGH testing that's been put in place. Uh, it's something the league hasn't had too many issues with or even accusations, but better to stamp it out early. And hard to argue that it should be in place. Gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Pass to Kuzminskis. Screened by Valanciunas. Here's Kolnietis, and he drops in the layup off the glass. I, I love the ball movement there. He put that on a silver platter. Just served him up. This could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. Wow, Kevin, what a performance we are seeing. That's good. This is a serious game-clinching run they're on. Yeah, I agree with you. Just not backing off here. I mean, they're looking to close this one out in style. What a time to have this kind of surge. Drops in the layup for two. They clearly look like a different team now. Suddenly, they've got some energy out on the floor. Yeah, but it's come a little too late to have a real impact on the game, though. We call this box score window dressing. All it's going to do is make the numbers look a little better than it was. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And Clover gets to our new And it's good. And that's just a little more for these fans to cheer about as they get ready to celebrate a W. Well, let the party start. The celebration begins, and they're going to let their guys hear it. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team. Clark by